Ingenuity barely survived the Martian winter, but now has resumed regular flights, climbing higher up the delta. Perseverance is climbing the delta too, getting to within 50 meters of Ingenuity's landing spot, but a day too late to see it. On this episode of Mars Guy. For almost eight months, Ingenuity nearly died every night. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The meager power generated by a solar panel never designed for the Martian winter was not enough to run its survival heaters or even keep its clock ticking. But each morning, the sunlight was strong enough to initiate what the engineers call the Lazarus circuit, warming the batteries, bringing the avionics back to life, and sending a call to Perseverance, which would dutifully search for the signal during the expected wake-up time. As of late January on Earth, early spring in the northern hemisphere of Mars, that distressing period is over. Ingenuity has been banking enough power in its batteries to stay alive overnight. We last saw Ingenuity in early January from a distance of nearly 300 meters, parked on the slope of a large sand ripple. It's made five more flights since then, scouting for perseverance and repositioning itself to stay out ahead. Now that the two have departed the floor of Jezero Crater for good, they've been out of sight from each other, although not out of radio communications. Ingenuity was first to relocate onto the Delta, where it performed some reconnaissance of the feature known as Rocky Top. During the downtime before the next flight, Perseverance was on approach through the Mega Ripples, but the rising terrain blocked its view of Ingenuity. By the time Perseverance was up onto this terrain, Ingenuity had departed, flying an impressive 248 meters to the northwest, its longest flight since last April. Perseverance made a brief stop at the edge of the rocky top feature. From this location, the view to Ingenuity up ahead was again blocked by intervening terrain. But just two hours after Perseverance arrived, Ingenuity had already taken off on to its next flight, number 43 of its planned five-flight mission. It flew 390 meters to the northwest, more than 150 meters further than its previous flight. On the next sol, Perseverance drove 202 meters, arriving within 50 meters of the spot where Ingenuity had taken off from less than 24 hours before. Maybe the ground was still warm. Although there was no sign of Ingenuity, there's an impressive view out across the rocky surface that likely is the same stratum as the adjacent rocky top. From here, the eroded delta remnant known as Kodiak Mesa is dropping from view now that Perseverance has driven more than 500 meters away from and 50 meters above the location of its sample tube depot. See episode 95. The view looking up the delta includes a very similar mesa, probably part of the same rock unit that caps Kodiak Mesa, laid down by floods billions of years ago in Jezero Crater. Perseverance may get the chance to explore this mesa up close, something it couldn't do with the towering Kodiak Mesa. Ingenuity has landed right next to it, but by the time Perseverance gets there, the reinvigorated helicopter probably will have moved on to explore a new target.